हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी कोर्स दिस कोर्स इज अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ द बुक रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी व्हिच हैज बीन रिटन बाय सी आर कोठारी एंड गौरव गर्ग सो फर्स्ट वी विल डू द इंट्रोडक्शन सो द इंट्रोडक्शन चैप्टर आई हैव डिवाइडेड इनटू सेवरल पार्ट्स फॉर आवर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो अंडर दिस फर्स्ट पार्ट वी विल स्टडी टुडे द मीनिंग ऑफ रिसर्च and the objectives of research if you want to download the pdf of this particular lecture you can go to the uh, telegram channel impractica class over there you can download the pdf for this lecture now we will start off with the chapter so we will understand the meaning of research first of all the research word contains two word first is re and second one is search so by the search by the word search over here it refers to knowledge when we know about something study about something that is a search and research means when we add to the existing knowledge when we add on to the existing knowledge which we previously had let's understand this with an example suppose you have the knowledge that the population of tigers the population of the tigers is decreasing the population of tigers in a particular area is decreasing now you have this knowledge so when you will do research on this topic you will add to the previously existing knowledge like you will search that how why the population of tigers is decreasing why the population of tigers is decreasing suppose you find that hunting illegal hunting or poaching activities is decreasing the population of tigers so this comes under research so you had a previous knowledge the population of the tigers and you added some new thing that is called research so research is basically when we add to the existing knowledge new facts or new knowledge are added research is done in a very systematic method over here data is collected analysis is done and at last we do a conclusion later on in this chapter we will deal with the steps of research but over here we'll do a overview so as to give you a basic understanding so in research first thing we do is that we address a particular problem so in this case what is the problem that we see that the population of tigers is decreasing the problem what is the problem over here we have seen a problem that the population of tigers is decreasing second we come on to hypothesis what is hypothesis so hypothesis is nothing but a statement made by the researcher this statement is not based on some fact but it is just a statement to give direction to the research in what direction the researcher will do work to give the direction to the particular researcher a statement is made like over here the hypothesis is made that the population of tigers is decreasing why it is decreasing due to the activity of illegal hunting so that will be the hypothesis in this case if we go on to the third step we can see that we have to collect data in collection of data we what we do we collect information so collecting data what you will do you have to collect information now while collecting data what you can do you can go to the government websites government website or you can talk to the tribal people who are living in the forest area you can talk to the village people villagers who are talk, uh, staying in that area you can talk to the forest guard
what all these people will do they will give you a rough idea a data that what is the cause what is the reason that the population of tigers is decreasing that is known as the collection of the data you can also talk to the experts you can talk to um, the teachers scholars everything you can do whatever you do to collect data for your research will come under this fourth one is analyze data what is meaning of analysis see we collect a lot of data and we cannot put all the data in our research paper we have to analyze that means we have to understand what is the information we have to understand what is the information given to us and what is the final outcome suppose in this case you have gone to government website so from all the sources you know that there are two main reason for the decrease in the population of tigers one is deforestation and the second one is hunting there are two main reason for the decrease in the population of tigers first from government website you know that because of deforestation poor tigers have lost their life from tribal people you came to know that because of deforestation three people have lost their life from villages you came to know that because of deforestation two tigers have lost their life and from forest guard you came to know that one of the tigers has lost their life due to uh, deforestation due to the activity of deforestation now we come on to hunting from hunting illegal hunting and poaching activities you came to know from government website that 40 tigers were killed from tribal people you came to know that 30 tigers were killed from villagers you came to know that 20 tigers were killed because of hunting and from forest card you came to know that 10 tigers were killed due to the forest hunting so after collecting all this data it is it is very clear to you that the main cause of tiger's population decreasing is hunting. So that is known as analysis of data. That you understand the data and write according to it. At last, we will come to the conclusion. When you have understood all this data, you will write the conclusion. In conclusion, what you can write? That, oh, I have to select some other ink. Once again, hmm. and select. Let it be a pen only. Oh. In conclusion, the last part is conclusion. In conclusion, what you can do, you can write while the main cause of tigers' population decreasing is hunting, but deforestation also plays a very crucial role in that. So, that will be your conclusion. So you have to follow all these steps to do a research properly. You have to find a problem. You have to make a hypothesis, a statement before collecting the data or doing a research so as to give the direction in which way you have to do the research. Then you collect the data, analyze the data and give the conclusion according to the data that you have collected. I hope you have understood this one. Second, we go to objectives of research. Now, what is the meaning of objective? What is the meaning of objective? Objective means purpose. For what reason you are doing this particular research? Purpose or reason. You are doing this particular research. Usually and in most of the cases, it is very specific. Like in this case, why we did this research? Why we did this research? To know why the population of tigers is decreasing. This is our reason of doing the research. Then, if we go on a general basis, on the general basis we can say it is 
for finding of the facts or adding on to our existing knowledge so generally the objectives of each research is different from one another and it is very specific targeted on that particular topic but in general if you speak it is for gaining knowledge so i hope you have liked this video and you have understand the meaning and objectives of research so tomorrow we will continue with the rest of the parts thank you for watching this video and have a nice day if you have any questions for me you can write down in the comment sections i will surely reply to your comments